there was in fact an individual in the bank uh, armed with a gun with at the time we believed to be potentially somewhere between uh, 10 and 13 hostages inside the bank. Uh, we uh, were able to establish some initial communications with the suspect. We were able to talk to the suspect a little bit. He made different demands about requesting uh, family members to be at the scene, that type of thing. Um, he did through negotiations. Uh, again, this was a uh, not very a, long, a really long incident, but he did through negotiations release a couple of the hostages. But he also continued to threaten people inside the bank. He threatened to kill hostages multiple times. We had uh, verifiable information um, that he was actually putting the gun to the back of the hostage's head at a couple points. Uh, based on that, those, those threats and that activity escalated through this event, uh, became more and more intense through this event. Um, at, reviewing that, the SWAT command staff obviously made the determination that uh, at the next opportunity that they would make entry into the bank to rescue the hostages. There was an opportunity that presented itself not long ago. Uh, where, where two people were hiding inside the bank, unknown to the hostage taker. Those two people uh, had, took an opportunity to attempt to flee the bank. When they did that, it distracted the hostage taker. Uh, and at that point, the SWAT team took that opportunity to make entry into the bank, placed themselves between the hostage taker and the hostages, uh, in essence, rescuing those hostages. Upon seeing the SWAT team, the suspects surrendered inside the facility. So we were able to take him into custody without incident. Uh, and again, save the, the lives of, of those hostages.